hundreds of supporters gathered at every nation church in Gudud, listening to a bit of political talk and enjoying some entertainment. <laughs> And it was back to encouraging members to register ahead of the upcoming registration weekend. Remember that. Understand your electoral system. Understand the voting procedures so that you do not waste your vote. And we must remember, every vote counts. Don't let anyone tell you that your vote is wasted. Grunewald says it's critical for eligible voters to understand that the Electoral Amendment Act has brought changes. He says they should be aware that they can only vote in their voting districts. It is very important to know that there's a change in the Electoral Act in terms of independent candidates. You can only vote in the coming election at the voting station where you registered. And that is very important. In previous elections, uh, you could have voted, for instance, for your province in any place where you were at that stage in the province, or national, any place in South Africa. But because of this amendment of the Electoral Act, you can only vote at your voting station. Therefore, my appeal, please, go and vote where you are registered, and then you can take off the rest of the day and do as you wish. With coalitions expected to become a reality in next year's elections, the party is confident that more coalition governments will emerge in various provinces, including the Western Cape. It seems in terms of the opinion polls at the moment, that both in KZN as well as in Gauteng, there will most likely be coalitions. And the interesting thing is this, the latest poll by Ipsos indicates that even in the Western Cape, the DA stands at 44%. The Western Cape is also going to have a coalition. The Freedom Front Plus will be part of such a coalition. The Freedom Front Plus is currently the fifth largest political party in the National Assembly with 10 seats. The FF Plus says the party will turn 30 years old next year. It will be the same year of celebrating 30 years of a democratic South Africa. But it will also be in the same year where watershed elections are expected since the dawn of democracy. Mercedes Besen, SABC News, Good Hood.